Hey, have you been feeling stressed out lately? Feeling down, anxious, angry? Well, there just happens to be a counseling service that could be right for you. BearHelp is an online therapeutic resource that offers licensed professional counselors that you can access from the comfort of your own home. Just go to betterhelp.com slash cinemasins, answer a few questions about how you're feeling, and they'll match you to the counselor who's right for you. Everything works through your own online personal counseling room and is tailored to your convenience. If you've been struggling or could just use some professional advice, head on over to betterhelp.com slash cinemasins today. There have been many tales of the great warrior Mulan. Totally! There have been two animated Disney movies and a 2009 non-Disney Chinese film called Mulan Rise of a Warrior, so you can easily see the need for a remake. Also, Mulan narration. Here she is. Wait, is this guy telling the story to his ancestors with the assistance of the film? Do I believe that this farming community had access to a spectrum of pigment and spent their precious hours coloring fabric to showcase the perfect tone of tangerine and salmon pink? You know, in order to best represent their individuality? No. Tell me your sister's not the cause of this. Hell no, Mom. That commotion outside is clearly Dave. F***ing Dave. <laughs> no! This is how you turn a famous Chinese legend into a f***ing cartoon. This is supposed to be badass, but with all the effects and editing, it's just a cheap parody. Look, you guys allegedly saw the whole thing unedited. Probably looked pretty badass to you. I don't pretend to know how people back in this era would have reacted to a girl doing all this stuff. We've been told they wouldn't look favorably upon it, but I'm sinning them for being assholes, as is my right. Don't panic. There's a spider crawling in your hair. Siblings. I will squash it. It is because I'm trying to protect Mulan that I say this. Weird. It's like someone unmuted the conversation you were apparently having before the movie decided you were audible. I ask you, what man will want to marry a girl who flits around rooftops chasing chickens? All of them? Do you know why the phoenix sits at the entrance of our shrine? Better question, how is that little stick holding up the wing of this busted statue? I broke her. Some say the phoenix is consumed by flame and it emerges again. I think she can survive a broken wing. <laughs> yeah, but that's THE phoenix. This is a decorative phoenix, and burning is distinctly different from broken wings. And the solution to this problem hasn't been solved by Mr. Mister yet. Hold up, not only do I have a bit of who the f*** is this, but I've also got a dash of what the f*** is that? We have a hawk skull with two extra beaky talon things making this look like a predator situation, flanked by pelvis bits and two spines? This is some evildoer crafts gone wrong f right here, my god! That, kids, is how you get herpes. Yeah, sure, this is total bullshit, but what I'm really wondering is how the narrator of the story knew this happened. Oh, so it's one of those kind of movies. It's like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, but it somehow seems way more unrealistic. So all these bad guys get to the wall at the same time and scale it. So who are the archers aiming at if everyone is ascending the walls? Useless archers! You can't shoot the desert! Their leader calls himself Bori Khan. Fitting that one of the chief antagonists of this movie has a name that's 67% of the word boring. It is forbidden to use the power of chi in destructive way. I mean, isn't that subjective? A witch is using the chi to be destructive to an oppressive system, killing along the way. Mulan will go on to use her chi to support the system closer to the rules, also killing along the way. Where can we read the TOS for chi? Once again, a shapeshifter in a movie has to transform back for absolutely no reason other than to tell you that they can. not Seems like this seemed to be an acknowledgement from the filmmakers that you're probably not paying attention. Anyway, what if someone saw this? Why can't she wait until she's out of the town to do it? You won't get what you want without me. Which makes no sense at all when you consider that she could warg into the Emperor's body and make a decree for supporting chi-wielding women warriors. She literally does not need him, just like this story didn't need her. Ah, to be free, on your horse, racing bunnies in an open meadow, completely unbound by marriage. What could possibly ruin this day? Well, I guess this is a sin for over -landerning. Is something wrong? So, putting the teapot there is some horrible breach of etiquette, and the movie will spend way too long on Mulan not telling the matchmaker about the spider underneath it to build up some fake tension for sh we don't care about anyway. But I think the teapot should remain where it is. Please forgive my insubordination. Telling you about the spider is way worse than, oops, I've said too much. <laughs> Fake spider, fake stunt work, fake laughs, excitement. to the Hua family. Jesus, if people act like this about things that aren't your fault, I'd rather be exiled. At least I'd get to use my chi. It's terrible when you have to make the walk of shame and you didn't even get last night. 
Yeesh, when he's mad, he sure doesn't need a cane. Walking pretty great there, buddy. Man, don't you hate it when you wake up in the middle of the night, you can't sleep, and you walk in on your dad playing with a sword? The Phoenix. Oh, shut up. Where's my show? I was promised a Disney remake, and that means everything is only slightly different than before. Next you're gonna tell me we skipped the part where she slices her hair off with a sword. Damn it! By the way, after Mulan's dad went through all the drama yesterday with his bad leg and his lie about being blessed with two daughters, wouldn't the army realize this isn't him? They knew all the families with fighting men, so why wouldn't they know that this isn't the guy with the bad leg? If they don't notice this, this family could have just not sent anybody. Our last apple. The director said, let's have your character give her horse a rotten apple and pretend it's a good thing by saying it's the last one. It'll make her look like even more of an asshole. The Phoenix. The Phoenix Machina. Also, this moment would be far more interesting if the Phoenix were leading her out of a labyrinth landscape. You know, rather than a canyon with only one way out and a pretty clear windy road to follow just beyond. I'm Cricket. My mother says I was born under an auspicious moon. Draft nerds. Insult me again or taste the tip of my blade. Oh yeah, getting drafted for war just got a whole lot sexier. I told you to line up for showers. Showers? Showers. You lot stink. Sounds like nobody got that message, since even Mulan is surprised about the shower edict. And I need a volunteer for night guard duty. Me! So wait, does that mean she doesn't have to shower? Why wouldn't the volunteer for night guard duty have to shower, then become a night guard? Why is this mutually exclusive? This movie is just one of the guys, except they substituted getting a newspaper job with war. Or Shakespeare in Love, except they substituted battle for acting. Or She's the Man, where they substituted soccer for a real sport. Got a question. While all this tomfoolery is going on, why doesn't Borikon just go ahead and attack the Imperial City? He knows that they're drafting soldiers for this war, so why not just go ahead and do it now, while everybody is learning what a sword is? Only the strongest will reach the summit. It will take everything you have. Survivor, Mulan edition. My ideal woman is... courageous. A courageous woman! <laughs> oh my god, this guy's incredulous laughing face, for s**t's sake. I could have gone a hundred lifetimes without seeing it. You should really consider skipping guard duty and taking a shower. Holy f**k, she's taking guard duty every night? You'd think a military organization would make other people do it just to get some experience, but hell no, not in this outfit. And what about the smell? You mean her commander can't tell over the last month or so that she smells terrible? Why hasn't he forced her to take that shower yet? Also, that's another thing. How long has this training gone on? We've seen that they've gotten better through the power of the montage, but it's been long enough now that Mulan is stinking up that joint worse than Pigpen when he helped Charlie Brown move in with Peppermint Patty. Here's a confusing moment when Mulan and whatever his name is get into a competitive bit of pointy thing he practiced. I'm all for a little action to move the plot along, but I get the impression that off-script sparring is frowned upon, which firmly places this scene into the just-do-something-more-interesting-than-nothing category, which is super sinful. Wait, is combat practice the kind of thing that the other soldiers can just form a circle around and watch like it's a really incredible tango or some Have you even showered once yet? I mean, seriously, how are they just now noticing this? This movie is giving us a shot with rack focus so that we can't focus on Mulan's rack. I get the impression that this dude is the kind of person to not obey the one urinal between us rule. Space man, space. I can't believe all this time you've been keeping your skill a secret. What else have you been hiding? <laughs> well, I can trap a spider with a teapot, but I've never gotten the chance to show it. Soon, the Imperial City will be up. Why is this taking so long again? Do we even know what Borikon is waiting for? It's like this plan was made hoping the Imperial City would be able to draft and train an army before he was ready. How much gold can a nomad carry? If gold is not enough, I will give you blood. Okay, but blood is also really hard to carry around as a nomad, so... It seems you've been hiding something. This movie spends a lot of time on scenes where one person will ask or tell Mulan something, and then a few minutes later we have a different person asking or telling Mulan the same thing. They already did this with the showering earlier. Just so I understand the rules here, water can spill out of the buckets if you're carrying them. But if you pour them out deliberately, your family is disgraced? So the wise thing here would be to casually swing the buckets to lighten the load. Am I honoring right? This reaching the summit scene is supposed to be the moment of triumph, proof that she's the strongest, that she's a leader. They've cut these mountain climbing scenes during montages, and one time they focused more on the guy who was cheating. This summit thing has not been presented as anything really important. But here we are, at the top of the mountain, pretending like it's been a major obstacle and a defining moment for our protagonist, and it feels unearned. Also, now that she's up there, what does she see? What's the reward for that climb? Instead, we see how it affects these doofuses. And when it finally cuts back to her, the camera circles her face, never once showing the majesty she's observing. This one shot is it. And before you can even soak it in, the movie's like, but what about the dudes? You know, when I saw this kind of thing in Upgrade, it really went along well with the action. Here, I'm trying to figure out what the point of it is. I'm more willing to accept that the camera accidentally swiveled this way and they kept it in the final cut. These kinds of action scenes are way more fun when you can watch them in slow motion. The amount of cuts in this scene is mesmerizing. You keep asking, why did they cut four different times on this one moment, and you'll never get an answer. 
It has to do with the three virtues. There's no shame in being fearful before battle. Protagonist is about to be honest with someone because the lie is killing them, but the other person interrupts them, thinking they know what the problem is, so they say a bunch of shit that makes telling the truth a lot harder. And we can feel good that the protagonist tried to tell the truth, but was given no choice but to continue lying cliché. Perhaps one day you could accompany me to my village, where I will introduce you to my daughter. Is, is this a tease to Mulan 2? We'll protect each other. We'll fight for each other. And then the movie immediately separates them into different parts of the battlefield. Huzzah! Drumline contains frightfully few Nick Cannons. Jesus, how many meaningful glances do these two need to have? This is the third one in the last five f***ing minutes. Aw, too bad this guy wasn't sitting around the campfire when Mulan made the promise that nobody sitting around the campfire would die in battle. That's what you get for not sitting around the campfire. Not sitting around the campfire guy. Today I learned that evil Chihawk ladies can smell estrogen from a mile away. Then you would die. Pretending to be something you're not. Speaking of being something you aren't, this crown has 68% less vertebrae since we last saw it. Where are my hawk spines? But Mulan. Mulan lived. Ironically, though, it was the armor hiding her boobs that saved her. So, if she had been her true self, she would have died. Anywho, being true to yourself is great, but wearing the armor that you've been training in for presumably months now isn't untrue, it's just smart. Also, Mulan rode pretty far from the battlefield before encountering Lady Hawk, then got knocked out and is now riding back to the battlefield on a horse that abandoned her a while ago. My point is, she's been gone too damn long and everyone should be dead. And so, the Disney pendulum swings from mindless, happy singing princess to straight up battle slaughter. You can tell not only by the visuals, but because of the conversations parents are having with their kids after they say, when I grow up, I want to kill people with a sword, just like Mulan. Look, she's for sure kicking all the ass here, but I'm still stupefied by that armor decision she made. Man, earlier, these nomads were all worried about carrying around gold, but they haul this mammoth trebuchet around without any issues. Also, at this point, Mulan sees her friends out here in the battlefield getting pummeled. So, she hops on a horse to swing their attention to the mountain and bring down a landslide. Except this means she would have to travel unnoticed behind this enemy line and set up all these helmets without anyone noticing. This might be the biggest sin of this movie. Well, that and there's still no f***ing Mushu. These assholes have been deadly accurate with this catapult this whole time. But now that Mulan accurately predicts that they'll miss and start an avalanche, that's exactly what they do. Now, I'm sure that Mulan took out their best catapult guys, and that's why the scrubs are missing her now, but that's why you need to invest in better catapult operator depth. <laughs> well, ain't that just some bullshit? Quick it! Wait, did someone press pause on the avalanche? That f***er was right on their heels. Holy! I guess Mulan's chi is so strong she can detect her love interest in all this avalanche mess. I mean, somehow finding this dude in the snow while riding on a horse, grabbing him, and mustering the strength to one-arm him on your horse is some bullshit that even a Fast and Furious movie wouldn't try. I mean, yeah, they would, but eat me. The enemy has been defeated. The sentient snow has correctly identified all of our enemies and is currently crushing them to death, or suffocating them slowly. We do not ask questions. As to how, while only our men were spared, we simply must get to the part where Mulan reveals her boobs. I mean, reveals she has boobs. From this moment forward, you are expelled from the Emperor's Imperial Army. Who the f*** else's Imperial Army would it be? Also, oh man, does this mean I don't get to see Mulan anymore? Is the movie over? Am I about to watch 40 minutes of hilarious outtakes? If you show your face again, your wish to be executed will be granted. It will not. I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. Your disgrace is worse than death. Why did the witch lady show up as a flock of birds when being just one hawk has met all her travel needs thus far? We are the same. We're not. We are. Powerful. Also, I see what you're doing, Disney. Slowly removing her wicked headpieces, pokey bit by pokey bit, making her more human and likable. Very clever manipulation, but I will not fall for it. Till I can warg, we will never be alike, goddammit. Join me. We would take our place together. She's not about to tell Mulan she's her mother, right? The garrison attacks were just a distraction. Khan has our army focused on the Silk Road, so he can sneak into the Imperial City and kill the Emperor. He most certainly could have carried out this plan without all these distractions, but we can't have a two-hour movie that way. You would believe Hua Jun. Why do you not believe Hua Mulan? It could be because of all the lying. I believe Hua Mulan. I believe Hua Mulan. I believe Hua Mulan. Yeah, yeah, I am Spartacus and whatnot. You Lead us as we ride to the Imperial City. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Believing her is one thing, but you're just going to let her lead the ride into Imperial City? How do you convince everyone else she's not a witch and can be trusted? Is anyone else seeing the Phoenix? Is this just a normal everyday sh**? Look, I'm sure these guys are stealth as f I just don't believe this number of people can run along rooftops and nobody sees that sh**. He offers a duel. 
Look, if Witchy Witch was just going to take somebody's form and tell the Emperor that Borikon is challenging him to a duel, then why didn't they already do that? If attacking the garrisons was just a distraction to get the Imperial Army looking the other way, what point did it serve if all they had to do was sneak into the city and then tell the Emperor about Borikon's challenge? But who will protect the city? You question the judgment of His Majesty, the Emperor? Well, no, but can I at least have an answer to the question I asked? Seems like it might be important. Okay, I'm an idiot, and even I know that's not how you shoot a bow and arrow. Here's the thing, this guy could easily be racing to save the Emperor rather than Mulan. I know that we want to see her kick ass, and she's a legend and all, but in this society, in this time, this guy would definitely be thinking that he could do just as good, if not better, than Mulan. Jesus Christ, these guys just walk into an unsecure location, assuming Borokon doesn't have any surprises in store? This is the strangest Maypole celebration I've ever seen. Also, here's yet another scene with an orgy of edits so confusing that Eyes Wide Shut told me I needed a second password to make sense of it all. And of course, that was a trick, there was no second password, and Sidney Pollock told me I was lucky to be alive. These assholes jump onto the walls and run on them for basically no f***ing reason whatsoever. They're back on the ground in three seconds. So what the f*** was that? Mulan's hair is looking ready for a f***ing shampoo commercial, and it should look like sh after that insane horse race across the countryside. You told me my journey was impossible. Yet here I stand. Proof that there is a place for people like us. Sure, let's just ignore the extreme luck involved with your acceptance. If you don't have intel from the witch herself about what Bori Khan was up to, and your buddy who persuaded the general to keep you around, Witchy McWitcherson would have been right. I mean, is this a long enough shot to give this badass cloak the screen time it deserves? Do you think the costume department slaved over this garment for just two seconds on only the upper portion of the screen? Jesus. Where's the emperor? <laughs> Just when I was getting used to you changing into a flock of birds every time you go back to the hawk. Make up your damn mind already. Reality. The bad news is that you can't catch a hawk on a rooftop. The good news is Hawk Witch flew around the city long enough to allow Mulan to see where she was going, which we will later find out she did on purpose. Why not just tell Mulan where to go? A woman leads the army. Holy sh! How did Mulan get here so fast? The witch lady just got here, and she flew there as a hawk! Super great that this woman took an arrow for Mulan and all, but did she have to? She could have turned into a bird swarm and disrupted the arrow pattern, or kicked it away in fantastical martial arts fashion, but instead we have a skewered bird because reasons. Also, if she was so easily picked off by shooting an arrow from the roof, why not stay up there and try again? If you can hit a flying hawk from here, why not try and hit Mulan when she's motionless, sad, and doing nothing? Oh sh! they're gonna wicker man this guy. Hey guys, don't worry, this has to be when Mushu shows up and snags the sword out of the- Oh f***ing hell, I give up. There is no Mushu, I am sad. Movie steals the best image from the worst season of Game of Thrones. Man, the Chinese version of American Gladiator is goddamn intense. Let's see, I've got this sword, massive amounts of chi, holy f do I have a lot of chi. I'll just let gravity decide this. It'll seem smart, and we get to keep our PG-13 rating. But also, he survives this and lands next to a convenient bow and arrow. Holy sh**, is this fight still going on? And were these assholes just watching? Movie pretends that this guy might be dead, even though we all saw him at the campfire where Mulan guaranteed no one would die. And that camaraderie seemed really important at the time, but since Mulan was never with these guys, and we never really got to see any of these dudes in action, that whole team effort was some weak sauce anyway. You can't leave. God damn it. Are we getting an adaptation of Baby It's Cold Outside? Because I pass. Remember the first time Mulan rode her horse off to adventure and ran out of food along the way? Yeah, we don't care about those little details now because everyone is happy. Oh my god, Mulan, we're so happy you're back. You've been gone for three hours. The entire kingdom is in her debt. I'm sorry, I just don't give a shit about this matchmaker to care if she's displeased with Mulan's newfound respect. Mulan never wanted to be married to someone she didn't care about. The matchmaker shunning her is the best thing that could have happened. And I don't think anyone's watching this movie thinking, man, I hope that matchmaker learns the error of her ways and Mulan shows her for good. Devotion to family. Pretty neat that this sword was engraved and ready to be gifted in enough time to deliver it to the Imperial Guard so that they could race to Mulan's house arriving mere moments after she did. And the leader became a legend. And this totally wasn't a one-time thing for women, right? Mulan was able to influence culture, and men everywhere began to accept women as powerful equals, capable of more than childbearing and such. Oh, really? Well, you can sing back up for me right now. Just back right on up. Thank you very much, Mr. Puffer. Man, this was a wild year, wasn't it? Even in the best of times, many people experience unhappiness, stress, anxiety, family conflicts, and many more issues that affect their mental health. If there's something that is preventing you from achieving your goals due to some of these problems, there's an online counseling service that we highly recommend, BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp is convenient, user-friendly, and a great way to get counseling from the comfort of your own home. Right from the jump, they'll assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional counselor. Everything is there in your own personalized counseling room. The ability to schedule your appointments, message your counselor, exchange useful information between 
Halloween appointments, and to send hilarious cat-based memes if you so desire. So, if you're looking for some professional counseling that could help you on your journey to health and happiness, go to BetterHelp.com slash CinemaSins for a unique offer today. We love it, and we use it. Yes, Bolan. It is decided. It is decided. Slider. You stink. I know your father. Correction. I know your father. Today, you become men. Let's face it. You gotta be a man to wear tights. The Uruks are destroyed. We slaughtered them during the night. But there were two hobbits. Did you see two hobbits with them? Release! The secret weapon! And I come back to you now. At the turn of the tide. Bolt the door! Bolt the door! Bolt the door! Bolt the door! Message for you, sir. And there you can see it resting and slowly sinking into the molten rock. <laughs>